Let's take a look at this new feature in Illustrator to find fonts. This requires the latest update. It's June 30th, 2023. You need to have the latest update of Illustrator to try this out. There's something called retype. And in fact, it's still retype beta right now. So I've always showed you how to be able to take a font and turn it into outlines or shapes. And I've been asked a lot, how do you go back? There's no way to just convert it back because now it's a shape. So Illustrator doesn't know what type of font it is. However, now Illustrator just might. I've got a sentence up here and it's all shapes. I've outlined this font. It's all just anchor points. You cannot go back. I don't know what font it is. But if I select it and I right click on it, there's something called retype beta. And that's going to open up the retype image. And it's going to look at each identified section and try to give you some suggested fonts. And you can see here, I've got five suggested fonts. I can say find more fonts and I can get five more fonts. So all of these are suggested that Illustrator thinks your image or your font that you clicked on or the, the shapes looks like this. And in fact, it's actually this one right here. So what can you do? Well, first you can help the algorithm by saying this is a good result. And then also you can just immediately activate that font by clicking this button right here and it activates. Now, a couple things here, these fonts, I believe are coming from the Adobe fonts. So if you're downloading fonts outside of that and you're trying to convert back, it's not going to find those. It's going to find the closest Adobe font that's in their font library to replace it. Now, the other thing it doesn't do is actually turn this into the text. This will still be a shape. We can exit retype beta just by clicking this button right here and then pressing the escape key. Uh, it looks like the window stayed up, which is fine. I'm gonna go ahead and click this X so it goes away. But what I'm saying is that this is still a shape out here, but what you can do now is find the font that you just um, installed and you can utilize it. So whichever one of these that it was, I know it was one of these. I, I'm going to click this one just because I know that's what I had. And then you can test that out in your design. So you can literally find the font, sync it, and then use it even if this was a shape. Now let me show you where this falls apart. This font here is inter and that's not a part of the Adobe fonts. If I retype on that, what it's going to do is try to find the closest to it. So you see, I do have some options that are fairly close and you can kind of go down through here. The other thing you can do here is type in your text. So if I wanted to also see maybe the word retype, if I wanted to type in other words like Pacers, because we're about to look at a Pacers gaming graphic, I could see how other words, other letters appear in all of these fonts here that are from Adobe font, uh, the Adobe font library. So then if we click the exit button, it might not exit us out of retype. And all we have to do is hit the escape key to exit out. So this is cool. This actually works with images as well. So this is just a JPEG image that I brought in here. Let's go ahead and right click and see what happens. I'm not sure if I utilized any fonts in here from the Adobe. Uh, well, I might have, but so we've got these different selections here that it sees. It sees pacers down here and it tries to give actually some decent suggestions. And then we can click on all these different areas to try to find fonts from different sections of these designs. So this is pretty cool. I mean, this Adobe retype is a way to look at images and look at shapes and try to find a proper font to maybe utilize that. If there's, um, if there's a design out there that you're like, oh, I wondered what font they use, you know. I'm so used to going to like whatthefont.com or some of these other, you know, font finding sites. Now it's built right into Adobe Illustrator. So this is pretty awesome. You can sync your font, exit out of retype, and then you're able to go use that font in your design and try to get close to uh, the look that you were you were going for. Let me know what your guys' thoughts down below.